Hello everyone and welcome back to the Unreal Engine C++ training series. I like always am Pharaoh and today we are going to be slowing down time at will. In the engine, not in real life. It would be cool though to be able to do that in real life. Oh, let, let's just, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I hit play and this will be activated by a button input. So I'm going to use the right mouse button and slow down time. And then it speeds back up again after, after a set amount of time. Boom. Sweet. Let's get into the code and see how this works. All right, here I've already included uh, timer manager.h because we're going to be using a timer to to automatically uh, reset the reset the global time so that we can actually get back to real time speed automatically without having to use another button impress. But we're going to go ahead and define some functions. So first we're going to we're going to need two functions. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Void slow time. This function is going to slow time and it's also going to start the timer. And then here we're going to uh, call a function called restore time. And as you can probably imagine, this will restore time and clear the timer. And we've got, we're, we're going to use a float and we're going to dilate the time scale by 10% or we're going to reduce it to 10% so this is going to be on a scale of 0 to 1 how fast is the game going to be simulated and here we're going to go with a value of 0 0.1 and that will mean for us that the game will be running at 10% its original speed all right, I'm going to create these functions real quick. Easy, easy. We do this all the time. All right, now let's go over to our functions. All right, so we've got our void slow time. And what we're going to be using is a function called set global time dilation and it's in our U gameplay statics. So we have set global time dilation. And it's only going to take in two parameters. Easy enough for us. The first is going to be the world. So we're going to get the world. And then we're going to use the time dilation value that we already have had prepared. So set global time dilation, get world time dilation. That's really easy. And then the next thing that we're going that we're going to do is we're going to set the timer. At the end of this timer, we're going to call restore time and that will set our time dilation back to 1. All right. So we're going to get world timer manager. Set timer. Ooh. Set timer. And it's going to take in as its parameters Um, I actually didn't create that uh, handle so we are going to create an F timer handle and I'm gonna call it slow handle because we're gonna be using it to slow time slow handle alright next it's going to take in this next off we've got a tutorial character this is going to be the function that gets called after the timer is done. So restore time. And we're going to use, it's going to take uh, three seconds. So after three seconds, we're going to restore the time back to normal. And we don't want this to loop. So we're going to set it to false. I got everything. Yes. All right. Now we can move on to our restore time function. This one's going to be super simple. 
So you gameplay statics. I'm going to copy this function and bring that into here. And I'm going to switch this to one so that we get our time back. So get world timer manager next, and we're going to clear the timer. And we're going to clear the timer that uses the slow handle. That should be pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and compile that. And I forgot to put in a button mapping. So we're going to do that now. So settings, project settings, input, action mappings, plus to add a new one. And I'm just going to call it slow. Eh, why not? And then we're going to use, I'm going to use the right mouse button just because my, my hand's already there. And we're going to come back into the oops, player input component. And I'm going to copy this guy, paste it right there, slow. Once again, make sure that this string right here is the same exact string that you input into the project settings. So this action mapping has to have the same exact string as this one right here. And the function that we're going to call using this uh, this action binding is slow time. Where are we? There we go. Slow time. All right, now let's compile it again and hopefully it will work for us. Come on, compile, hurry up. There we go. So now I'm gonna play and I'm gonna shoot the ball. I'm gonna shoot it again and this time I'm gonna press the left and the mouse button, the right mouse buttons at the same time and hopefully we should see a slow motion shot. And that we do. It is in super slow motion and I'm not actually keeping track but this seems to be going on for much longer than three seconds. So let's see what's going on. All right, so what's happening? Okay, we have slow time. We're going to time, we're going to set the global time dilation, and we're going to set a timer. Hmm. What's probably happening? Yes, if we if we look at this if we look at the timer, it's going based off of the time dilation that's set in the world already. So since we're simulating at one tenth the speed, this should actually go on for 30 seconds. So one way that we can counteract this is we can multiply this three times our time dilation and now no matter what we dilate our time to this will always take three seconds now this is this is actually something that you want to be uh, very judicious with when you when you use this function you want to make sure that all of your systems are independent of the time dilation if you can make it so if you can make it such if you can't then that poses a giant issue um, for if you want it if you want to use the global time dilation all right so I'm going to play again and once again I'm gonna hit these both at the same time one Mississippi two Mississippi three yep one Mississippi two Mississippi three yes it works fine now oh it's so beautiful all that time dilation so yeah you can do this for all kinds of stuff if you wanted to do a, some sort of a superhero game I don't know maybe you want to mix up the this and the ricochet bullets tutorial that you can find at the top right of the corner if you haven't already seen that one and 
create some sort of a superhero first person shooter. I don't know what you want to do with your life. But anyway, give this button uh give give this video a like if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for more content. If you haven't already checked out some other tutorials, then I highly recommend you do so. And I've been Pharaoh. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time.